Ladies and gentlemen, boys and girls, it has been quite a while, and welcome y'all to Avery LR32. My name is, of course, Avery. That feels like such a different intro to use. I'm so used to saying, what's up, you guys? Avery here, bringing you guys a brand new Yu-Gi-Oh! video. I sound like Cali Effect a little bit there. But, you guys, I might be coming back to YouTube uh, five days a week. I've had a lot of stuff going on in my life as of recently, and uh, that's going to be a different video for a different day. We also got the brand new iPhone 13 with a beautiful blue background, or a beautiful blue back, along with a very nice case. But guys, be sure you like that video, hit the subscribe button. Uh, we're going to be talking about why we're coming back to YouTube in a separate video. For now, in this video, I want to be talking about the balance. That's right, January 17th. Feels like it's right around the corner, quite honestly. I can't believe it's already December 2nd. Feels like just yesterday I was stuffing my face with pie at Thanksgiving. Um, so I want to cover the ban list. I know it's still, you know, a month and basically two weeks out. Um, but with the last release of this year being Brothers of Legend, I figured now is a better time, or as good of a time as any, to cover the balance because really nothing's going to change. We're in this format for really the foreseeable future because Sword Soul and Flunderies are really not going to get hit on this balance because they just came out. They might get some touch-ups here and there, which I will be discussing in this video, like Fusion Destiny might be going to one, who knows? Um, things like that, but they're not going to be like, oh, Mo Yi to one or Ecclesia ban, you know what I mean? Like, that's just not gonna happen. So, let's go ahead and go into my ban list thoughts, things that I would like to see, things that I think should happen, and of course, this is all for discussion. I have things on here that most likely won't happen, I would just like to see happen, uh, such as skill drain and self-destruct button going to three, and if you're a veteran on this channel, you'd know why I like self-destruct button. <laughs> so, let's go ahead and start off with the ban. First up, we have Preta Plant, Verte, give me a polymerization and a conda. Look, this card needs to be banned. We have seen it thrown into any deck that can use fusions. We've seen it in now in Heroes. Uh, the Sword Soul builds uh, that are playing Fusion Destiny can play Anaconda if they want to, uh, or they just hard draw the Fusion Destiny. When we get the Brave Archetype in January with the Grand Creators, yes, that is in January. I know it's in Grand Creators. I'm pretty sure it's in January. Um, that deck can also abuse Anaconda and Fusion Destiny to make the Phoenix Enforcer or the Red Eyes Fusion um, to make the Dark Dragoon. Having Verte ban solves all of the Fusion issues, and if you think about it, it really, in a way, limits what Konami can do with Fusions to a degree. Because, you know, if you make a Fusion like, you know, Blue Eyes, Super Unga Bunga Burr, ultimate dragon and its fusion spell can be dumped by anaconda and this dragon has the ability to banish all the cards in the opponent's field like konami can't really have a card like that and verte in the same format you know it's the same thing with dragoons why would you have a format where you have both verte and dragoon where you can essentially get out the dragoon with just two monsters like that that's broken verte needs to go it's been needing to go for a while next up we have imperial order so I know that MCO40 made a discussion about this a while back. Robbie said that, you know, people were complaining about Imperial Order and Tri Brigade, saying how it's broken, needs to be, began, needs to be banned, and then it kind of fell off. And people were like, oh, okay, you know, Imperial Order is not so bad. Even with the Errata, however, it's one of those cards that is going to creep into the format from time to time and just be a huge fucking issue for decks, and it needs to be just banned again. You know, as much as I like seeing old cards that were banned for years come off the ban list, with or without erratas, I just want to play with those cards again. Um, Imperial Order needs to go. It's it's kind of like Roll Oppression was way back in the day if you played uh, with Roll Oppression 2009, 2010, I think even like 2011. Um, you know, Roll Oppression was one of those things where it wasn't always present at the same time when it was a a format where roll oppression was good, you know, better than vanities. It was a really good floodgate. Just being able to have it out and pay 800 to shut off the opponent from special summons, you know, this is kind of like the same thing, but you're paying 700 during both players' turns to stop spells. And the 700 is just stupid, you know. I mean, if you don't, if the opponent plays it during your draw phase and you don't have a Cosmic Cyclone, a Twin Twister, something to stop it, you're going to have a really hard time, especially if you don't have any sort of monster effects or traps to out it. You know, it's kind of like Dragoons, you know, just draw the Kaiju, Flyfed. Well, I didn't open up the fucking Kaiju, so 
and I can't bait out the negate, so I just lose. You know, I mean, the only reason why, uh, not this previous Tuesday, but the Tuesday before at Locals, I was able to out a Chi Zhao and a Baroness de Fleur was because I had a Book of Moon on the Baroness, and then I, you know, had an Imperm, and I used Duality to get another Imperm, and I was able to pop off with Flunderies. But that's because I got lucky with getting the outs. Other than that, I would lose that matchup every time. So... I feel like it just it needs to go. It, it, it's, it provides a lot of issues into the format. Next up is something obvious, Mystic Mine. If you have been watching this channel for a while, you will know that my dad is a huge burn fanatic, stun fanatic, won't play meta. The closest thing he's ever played to meta was Monarchs um, with just Triple Majesty Sphine, Triple Vanity Sphine, all that shit, even before the new Monarch support. Uh, Mystic Mine needs to go. I mean, it's one of those cards, as we say on this channel, you play it, you proceed to whip out your diddly, you proceed to play with yourself. It's such a toxic card, and it just needs to go. The fact that any deck could, in I will admit, in theory, just play one copy of Mystic Mine, which we've seen some decks do, one or two copies, even sometimes max out of three, like in Sky Striker, and just slap that bitch on the board, and if you're playing Sky Striker, just make a Hayate and keep on swinging, what the fuck are you gonna do, five head? Oh well, just draw the cosmic, draw the twin twister, draw the evenly match, draw the lightning storm. Yes, you have a lot of outs, or in this case, imperial order if it doesn't get banned. But what if the missing mind player is solemn judgment? What if they're playing curse seal? What if you're like my dad, where you're the one guy in the fucking room playing two copies of heavy storm duster in your main deck? So you go imperial order, and they go huh, huh, heavy storm duster, your shit's gone, or you go to set two back row to you know have your outs ready, and then they just storm duster you. What are you going to do? I mean, it just, it needs to go. It needs to go. It, it's just so bad. So that's it for the bands. That's everything I, I have for coming up with, with bands. Um, I really couldn't think of anything else. Limited. Tribe Brigade Revolt. This is a return from the different dimension specifically for Tribe Brigade. This card at three is fucking bonkers. I think that it needs to be at one because of the fact that if you're able to out it and Tribe Brigades don't have a way to get it back, which I don't think that they do in the deck. Um, I could be wrong about that. Uh, they're locked out of their revolt, and I think that that's much more fair than just being able to play three copies and just revolt, 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 revolt. I mean, it's like once you finally break their board and you start making a comeback, oh, nah, bitch, I got revolt. I'm just going to rebuild my board and proceed to play with myself. Like, nah, stop that shit. That shit needs to go. <laughs> it really, really needs to go. Um, another one I think is going to be a bit controversial, evenly matched. So why am I bringing up evenly matched? Because of the fact that... It's not a once per turn, right? The fact that you can open up multiples and those bitches ain't dead, evenly match. I'm a solemn judgment you. Cool. Evenly match again. Like, really? No, man. Like, even at two, like, just having that bullshit. Because then, like, if you put it at two, it's like, okay, well, you just got lucky draw opening with both. Then it's like with one, yeah, you still got to be lucky, but you can supplement other cards. You can play Lightning Storm. You can play Twin Twisters. You can play Cosmics. You can play even MSTs or Galaxy Cyclones. You can play other things other than relying on the evenly match. And evenly match covers so much ground. And I get it. If you have multiple copies, you can bait out and negate. That's why it's good. But that almost seems a little bit too good. And uh, right now we're in a format where back row isn't a big thing. So people are just going to be using evenly, sorry, that was my phone, <laughs> to out monsters, to out boards. And it's, it's like, it just is so broken. Like, it seems like if, if we were in another time in Yu-Gi-Oh, like even like 2013, 2012, this card would have got hit on some sort of ban list eons before that. It's just so bonkers. Another thing that's bonkers clearing boards, double A battery fucking Zeus. I'm going to stack my Zeus on top of a Zeus on top of a Zeus, and then I'm also going to throw a downward on that. Then I'm going to throw a Zeus on that, and then I'm going to detach two and just blow away your board, and I'm going to sit there with my diddly in my hand. Nah, Chief. All that stack on stack on stacks. You could even argue you should hit Downer Magician at that point. Double A Zeus needs to go. Lyra Lusix abuse the shit out of it. Um, I don't have any sort of direct Lyra Lusix hits on here, I guess, other than Zeus. But Zeus needs to go to one. And I feel like it's something that Konami may very well hit since they reprinted it. Um, it, it. It needs to go. It's the same way for Verte, too, since they reprinted it in the gold. I think it may get hit for that reason as well. Next up is Fusion Destiny. So I've got Verte banned, but then I have Fusion Destiny at one. So if you are a hero player and your Fusion Destiny gets negated, you are most likely playing other things like Miracle Fusion, like Polymerization, that can get out the 
uh, Phoenix Enforcer. I don't think Fusion Destiny will happen, though. I think that the fact, if we get Verte banned, and I, I, I think Fusion Destiny will be left at 3. Because at that point, then, you have to either have a way to search it, which I don't think heroes have a direct way to search Fusion Destiny, um, because they can search like Polymerization, Miracle Fusion. I don't think they have a direct way to search Fusion Destiny. Correct me on that if I'm wrong. Um, so leaving it at three, I think, is probably going to be what happens. I want to also bring up at this point Glow Up Bulb as well, because that's a card that's just been banned for years that I wouldn't mind seeing come back to one. I don't know if that's really something that could happen, uh, just because it's a generic level one tuner. You know, you, uh, what, like stack the top card of your deck or ditch a card, whatever it is, I haven't read the effect in years, and then bring it out. I feel like that's not really something that may happen, but I thought it was something I would throw in here anyways. Heavy Storm is also another one. Um, we're in a non-back row heavy format. You know, people are having a, a, have a lot of outs in their side, and sometimes even their main for back row hate. Um, so I don't think Heavy Storm may come back at the same time, since we already have a lot of hate for back row. Maybe Heavy Storm could come back into the format and see play. I would love to see Heavy Storm come back. I remember playing Heavy Storm years ago. I would love to see it come back. I remember I had a Hobby League version of it. I played that shit all the time. <laughs> it was fun. And then people get pissed because they're like, you're playing the Hobby League version. That's why you top decked it. Maybe. I don't know. I was like 13. I didn't know what I was doing. To the semi-limits now. Trickstar Light Stage. Why is this thing at 1? Set rotations at 1. I've got Metaverse at 3 on here because Mystic Minds ban. Give us Trickstar players some love. I, I was the first ever player to top a Trickstar. You know, pure Trickstar. I want to see my light stage come back to two. It's a non-once-per-turn rota. That shit's broken. Um, Gold Sark to two. I know the two people watching this video that are like, yeah, great mods you. They're going to be like, all right, cool. Now I can play Necroface but for even more of a reason. But I, I look at more as Flunderies, right? Because we're getting Journey Preparations and Battle of Chaos. It's basically a rota that's once per turn. And it's a quick play, so it can, you know, dodge hand traps and things. Um, you know, you activate your Flunderies effect. They play Valor. You can chain the Journey Preparations and get that back. Gold Sark is essentially like another consistency card. And I think with Flunderies having consistency issues that they have right now, even with Journey Preparations, because I've tested that card, I think that Gold Sark has the potential to come back to two. I don't really think it's really going to be abused in any other decks except for Flunderies. And even then, like, players aren't going to be waiting two turns to get their shit to their hand. Even if you're a Grand Maju player, you're going to use Gold Sark to banish the Necroface to banish the top five cards. You know, you're going to get the card in two turns, but you're going to probably have won at that point anyway. I feel like this is another thing that may not happen, but I would like to see it happen because it is Flundery support, and it's also Grim Maju support too, and I'll admit, I like playing that fun deck from time to time. It's not the best thing in the world, but, I mean, it's a pretty decently fun road deck. Um, and then I also have Salome Great Circle. This card's at one. Mirage Stallion is at one, too. I actually meant to throw it on here. Mirage Stallion could come back to two or even three. No one's playing Salad. And then the one dude that is topping with Salad, he's like, no, I'm not sharing my deck list because I'm a bitch. <laughs> it's like, yo, what the fuck ever, dude? Like, you're, you're, you're you got lucky. That's probably why you top. You don't want to share the build. Anyway, I, I don't mean to rant. I apologize. I'm sure he's a good player, but I'm just like, I hate people that don't share their deck list. It's like, what the fuck are you hiding? Like, what, you top with a beaver warrior? You don't want nobody to know? Get the fuck out of here. <laughs> so, Salome Great Circle to two. The deck deserves some support. It's a uh, back row heavy deck like Eldritch, and we're running a lot of back row outs right now. We have a lot of outs to it. Even with Evenly at one, we still have a lot of different things we can pick from. Spiral Resort to two. We got Master Plan Ban, Quick Fix at one. I don't know why Resort's still at 1. I think this card could come back to 2, um, and the deck really wouldn't do anything. Um, to 3, this is kind of my, uh, please Konami let this stuff happen, I doubt it's going to happen. D Fisher and Macro to 3. Uh, stun and also Flundery support, I doubt that's going to happen. Konami doesn't like Floodgates being at multiples other than 1, sometimes even banned. This shit's been at 1 since 2013, I want to see this shit back at 3. Same with Skill Drain, I want to see this back at 3, I doubt that's going to happen. Metaverse to 3, because we've got Mystic Mind Ban, what are you going to be playing Metaverse in besides Sky Striker? Okay, cool, you played your Area Zero, oh my god, you're so good at this game. Cool. Have at it, Sugar Boo. Uh, e Telly to three. It's at two right now. Probably going to go to three. And then my three, please, Konami. Final countdown to three. Shit don't need to be at one. Like, come on, bro. Like, honestly. Final countdown is not that toxic. Chain Strike to three. They lost Mystic Mind. Let's give them two more copies of Chain Strike. Burn's still not going to do anything. It's garbage. And then Self Destruct Button to three because I'm a Self Destruct Button player. I'd like to see Self Destruct Button come back so that I don't have to, you know, be bitching about remote duels because I can just say, okay, cool. You want to stack me? All right. Uh, wall revealing like Self Destruct Button. 
Cool. Fun. Let's uh, let's have a draw since you want to cheat, bro. <laughs> so, guys, that is my ban list. I know that this video was a bit long, about 15 minutes. But if you guys did enjoy the video, be sure to leave a like, rating, favorite, and subscribe. And let me know what you think is going to happen on this ban list. Did I miss anything? Did I just completely overlook something? Uh, let me know. And uh, hopefully we can have a fun discussion in the comments. Thank you for watching, and I will see you in the next video.